everyone. Welcome back to online study for you, a complete placement solution. So friends, we have two openings to discuss today. One from Mintra, another from HP. For the freshers, like anyone can apply kind of thing. So I request you to watch this video, know the details and apply it by taking the link from the description. Okay, so if you're very new to our channel, consider subscribing our channel and activating the bell icon as well to get the notifications at the right time. So first, let me start with the Mintra one. So Mintra is hiring for data analyst. And you can see what we are looking for. If you have this many qualities in you, then with respect, uh, it is not with respect to any graduation. So irrespective of any graduates, if you are done with this qualifications or this uh, skill set, then you can definitely apply. Okay, now strong problem solving ability. Candidate needs to exhibit structured thinking, strong analytical skills, process orientation, etc. Strong in data analytics, high action oriented orientation or past background in technology is preferred, not mandatory. That means if you have any experience with respect to the technology and all that is accepted, but it is not mandatory. That means freshers and also entry level people uh, with few months or one year of experience also can apply to this. Okay. Now data analyst responsibilities, you can see, you should understand and analyze data to drive business insights, data visualization for easy conception of data with senior management strong process orientation and ability to learn quickly, drive change in tech or process backend by the team, monitoring and providing feedback loop during execution of various initiatives. So these are the details and in no way they have mentioned you should belong to this batch or you should belong to this graduation. So anyone who's ready to take up the responsibilities that they have mentioned here is open to apply. Okay, so the registration form is pretty here. You can just scroll and see your personal information they want and uh, your resume is mandatory. If you have a very good cover letter, then you can attach that as well, but that's not mandatory. So by giving all these details, you are submitting to the application. The further contact will be through your contact details mentioned here for the selection process. Okay, so I hope these details are pretty much clear to you. Now we have another opening from HP to discuss. So HP is hiring for business operations analyst. So this is also an analyst role and a business operations section. Then you can see here educational experience required. So it's a first level university degree or equivalent experience. First level university degree in the sense you must be a graduate. That's what they mean. Now, typically zero to two years of experience in supply chain function. That's what they want. If you have experience, then you will be categorized at that. And if you have don't have zero years of experience, you will be categorized at this. Now, knowledge and skills, what and all you should there should be there within you to apply for this role is good understanding of supply chain process, demonstrated analytical skills, strong return and verbal communication skills, then mastery in English and local language, good interpersonal skill, basic Microsoft Office skill, basic understanding of project management methodology, developing business equipment and technical knowledge with an area of responsibility, Introduction to HP's overall supply chain strategy, basic understanding of materials requirements, planning and ATP, basic understanding of import and export regulatory requirements and compliance, basic knowledge of inventory analysis. So why I read each and every point is that you may get some questions with respect to this. They, you, you like when you apply to this, if you are sitting for the interview, then there can be questions like, okay, what is the supply chain management? And uh, what is the background of supply chain management in HP? You can receive those kind of questions because that is the company knowledge that you should have before you apply to that. And they have clearly mentioned these knowledge and skills must be there with you. So these things should be there and they will make sure you have these knowledge and skills, which makes you fit for this role. Okay. So... Uh, if you ask me, how can I prepare for an interview? It's not always uh, brushing up the things that you learned in graduation, like main, main concepts. As I always say, it is not always about OOPS concept. It is not always about giving you a um, program or writing, telling you to write a program. It is always about the skills and knowledge or the requirements that they have listed in the job application. So you should know that. So these skills and set in case if you don't have just Google, especially the supply chain management, what is that? And what is the background of supply chain management for HP? All these things you may not know now, but you should 
google that and come have a basic idea okay so that's important and those details are mentioned here as well so this is very important whenever you are applying to any of the job it is not always like okay which graduate graduates can apply which batch of year can apply this perfectly suits for me so let me apply it's not always that you should go to the knowledge skills and uh, knowledge uh, what they have mentioned also the job description what they mentioned because sometimes knowledge and skills section will not be provided but job descri description will be provided which is equivalent to this okay so uh this kind of bulk hiring like oh infosys we do those kind of hirings is completely different they do ask they do make sure the graduates that uh, some basic foundation things which their students learn through graduation is there in them but these kind of hirings these kind of companies make sure they are fit for the company they are fit for the role or not especially coming to product based companies that is very important okay so i hope all the details are pretty much clear to you and you got an idea how to prepare for the selection process how to prepare for the interview and all you should go through these responsibilities too so that you will get a very very good idea to how you have to prepare for the interview process okay so now to apply for that you can click on this apply button and you need to log into hp careers then you need to submit your personal details your resume part your education details and everything and you can apply to this okay so the recent trending batches obviously i always used to tell it was 2019 2021 and 22 passed out batches but right now 2022 have passed out so this will be mainly focusing upon 2021 and 22 okay so most of the opportunities will be for these three batches and going on on one of the years you know previous years will be getting affected this is how you go should go okay so uh, who is get looking for a job very you know actively just try to make use of as many opportunities as possible because as time passes you may may not get opportunities okay so i hope all the details are clear to you it's taking a time for loading but the application form is pretty simple as every hp application form it is so cgc details is here to disclose so the business operation analyst and uh hp the starting cdc is around 3.6 374 4 lps that range okay it's in that range so with respect to you the team and your experience all these kind of things it completely differs so this is a very good role to get into uh, this section supply chain management is is a very flaming topic or very flaming domain right now so it's a very good opportunity so i hope all the details are pretty much clear to you uh, in case if you, if i miss any kind of details which is very much relevant let me know that in comment section i'll try to add that up uh, if it is not mentioned in this video okay so until i be back again everybody stay safe stay happy and stay tuned to online study for you